haven't left me anything left to comment on there, which is which is great in a lot of ways because I'm not sure I had the answers anyway. Um, I guess I just wanted to thank. I'm not sure if Rogers is still with us. Thanks to the people that joined us on there, and you can clearly carry on on them on the Rogers website. Um, <clears throat> Routes for a new downtown relief line were mentioned around running it under young, the Young Line. Um, one of the things that you want to do with a new, a new line is, is both relieve the capacity, relieve the congestion on the Young Line, but also give new travel opportunities. And one of the ways of doing that, provide, provide redundancy. You want to make sure that you can keep running things and provide new travel opportunities. And that's why we believe that the downtown relief line or the suburban relief line, something to take the capacity off of Young Line is, is such a critical thing. Um, Downsview Station benches, I'll be sure to look into that um, immediately. I'm not sure what the situation is there. The stand right, uh, walk left, was removed as part of a directive, directive um, from, from the people that look after these things. Um, the, the feeling was that escalators are for standing on rather than walking, so that wasn't a TTC decision. I think there was question of a, a constitutional amendment around that. Um, I'll get the lawyers on the constitutional amendment, but I think there are some other things that we can do to help influence our customers on doing that. Um, running the Bloor line, it's two lines, it's something that we did used to do, as was rightly pointed out. Um, I don't think we'll be going back to that. It's, it's an interesting suggestion. It's simply very, very complicated to run. It's very, very complicated to tell customers where they're going to. Um, and actually, the capacity of running that sort of complex service means you actually move fewer people. Um, and I guess finally, the only thing, uh, Oyster was mentioned. Um, and, and for those that don't know, that's effectively what Presto is. Presto is an e-card system. That's what they're going towards, and that will make um, everybody's convenience easier. I hope that people won't miss the nostalgia of the tokens too much, um, but, I'm, but I'm confident that if they do, that we can uh, find some to sell them. So I, I think that probably wraps it up, but just, just to, and obviously we have another hour of this, um, which is great. The only thing I just wanted to touch on is that what happens with these, and I'll, and I'll sum this up at the end as well, is that from this transcript, we will create a record and all the comic cards that you have handed to us we will then reply directly to the comment cards. We will create a record that will go on our website of everybody's comments and what the responses are. So you don't need to worry about taking notes. We're doing that for you. So let's carry on.